All right, here we have a fun tune. It's Spill the Wine by War, featuring uh, Eric Burden from The Animals, of course. And uh, this is kind of a cool song. Uh, there's a few different instruments going on here, and we can arrange them for a guitar. Pretty nice. And a uh, little bass action in this, too, for you. But uh, we'll just kick it off here. It'll just be a standard tuning. Okay. And uh, we're going to do the little organ part at the very beginning. I think it's kind of a cool... Uh, almost like Santana sounding organ, you know, and uh, it's kind of a cool little uh, pattern we can do here where we do three on the D, okay, so, and then we're just going to go to three on the B, just real quick, and these are some kind of like offbeat, funky notes, but they're, they're fun to play once you get them down, okay, so we go three D, three B, and then we do a quick 3D back to 2 on the D. Okay, and we're going to hit that 3 on the B again. All right, and then we'll finish it with a coming back to that 3 on the D. 3 on the B. 2 on the D. To 3 on the B. And it's just a little, the timing's a little different on that. So, like that that first three is rushed a little more. And so you just put it together. Okay, and like, you don't have to be terribly exact with it. You know, you can keep it pretty loose. Okay, and once the... Uh, the chorus comes in, um, comes in just instrumentally the first time. Uh, guitar riff will come in with this, and uh, this guitar riff it's you know the same thing throughout the whole song. It's just you know for the chorus you want to be a little little louder with it, and with the verse be a little more subtle with it, All right? And uh, it does kind of a cool thing here where uh, it's not quite playing what uh, like say the bass is playing or any other instruments. Um, this here, it starts off on a on its own kind of note here, where it's th it starts off on the three of the D, then to two, and then we go one on the A twice to three on the A. Pretty simple. Just. I said just change the dynamic of it you know depending on the chorus of the verse all right and once the uh, choruses come in there's uh, what sounds to me like a harmonica so something like that but uh we'll just call it a harmonica but you can play it here and uh this kind of does its own little thing too where it doesn't match you know what the bass or the guitar is doing it just kind of does its own bit and uh, pretty simple it's just uh come up here at the six on the b to the five, and then just come back to the six twice, and then end on the five. So just two notes back and forth. All right, and I'll drop the bass in here for you. And like everything else, this is kind of playing its own own notes that are just just similar enough to what everything else is doing, that it all just kind of stays together. Okay, and uh, for the chorus, uh, the very beginning there where everything kicks in, initially it plays the chorus uh, pretty simple, straightforward, and it adds a couple elements later. But uh, just from the start here, it plays it this way, where we're going to be at the fifth fret of the A. Okay, to three. And then two ones. Back to three. And you just repeat that. All right, and once we get to the uh, later choruses, it'll add this uh, new little scale here where uh, it's playing the same thing all the way up to the end of it here, so. 
opinion. Once you get to the end of it, we're going to throw in a quick little scale where we're just going to come up to the E string and just do a open one, two, three. Okay, just real quick. Okay, so we'd do something like this. For the verse bass, uh, kind of add some more elements here. Uh, it just kind of goes back and forth between them. Once you get these two two riffs here, then you just kind of uh, alternate between them. Okay, so it kind of starts like we're doing the chorus here. So we go five to three on the A. Okay, but then we're going to come up here and do five on the D. And then a couple threes on the D and finish it with a five on the G. Okay. All right, and uh, for the second half of this, it's basically the same thing, but instead of coming up to that five on the G, we're gonna hit that low octave of it on the three of the A. Okay, so uh, start it the same way. Do the fives on the D, a couple threes on the D, and then like I said, we're just going to end it on the, the low octave, so three on the A. Alright, and like I said, we're just going to alternate between uh, both of these patterns. So it would be like this. Okay, and once you get to those last notes, you know, whether you're on the or the, um, you can just kind of, you know, hit them a couple more times just to fill out the the measure. Something like that. And you're all set. Thanks for checking out the video, everybody. Like it, share it, leave a comment. It's always good to hear from you. Um, do me a favor and hit the subscription button. I put out a video pretty frequent, so you don't want to miss out on that. Uh, check out the links in the description box below. I have really cool links for uh, tablature books, all the gear I use, t-shirts, fun stuff like that. So thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.